All right, what's up, guys? It's uh, Shadow here. For those of you that know what happened last month, last month I ordered our my Battle Beaver finally showed up. I ordered it at the end of January, and it showed up fucking uh, mid-April, which kind of sucked. It took forever to get here. It took what? That's two and a half months. So we waited two and a half months for a controller to get out here, and. Uh, yeah, it's so you guys can see the title. Pretty sure you guys can read. I hope you guys can read. We're already done with this controller. So this controller right here, it made 31 days. Why I know 31 days? Because I got it and these are 30 day warranties. I got 30 day warranty, they come with a 30 day or a 90 day, I had 30 days. So this is already broken. It's not like anything big, but I mean, I per, playing primarily shooters, my R2 does not work. It makes a click, you can hear the click. It makes a click, but it doesn't do anything. I didn't do anything to my controller. I put it, I was playing one day, it was just fine. Next day, I, I like I put it down. I plugged it in, had it charging, and the next day I got on. I was playing a couple of games like early afternoon. I was like, "All right, cool." So it was working just fine. No problem. Well, I got off of work that next day. I pick up the controller. I jump into a game. I'm shooting at somebody. Using a fully automatic weapon in Call of Duty, shooting at somebody, and my guy just stops shooting. I'm holding the trigger down. He just stops shooting. And then it's shooting semi-auto, but while I'm holding the trigger still, it just fucking pop, pop, pop. I'm like, what the fuck is this? So, and then I get into another gunfight. I pull the trigger, and my guy just starts meleeing. Just, me he just punching for no reason. So... To show you guys kind of what's going on, I got, I jumped into a private match, show you. I play on default. That's what I play on with these controllers. I, uh, I was playing bumper jumper on a default controller. Like, that's the only way I can do it because I don't, I don't know. It's, it's weird. So, this is all set up default. R2, fire weapon. So, I'm going to go ahead and show you. Everything else works just fine. I can sprint. Melee works just fine. Jumping works. Crouching works. I can switch my weapon. All that shit. So I can throw my concussion grenades. I can throw my frag grenades. I can aim down sight. But I can't shoot. So my R2 does not work. At all. I, it doesn't matter. Like I tried, I tried messing with the controller. So I ordered this. It was good for the first thirty days. Still hitting it. Nothing's happening. Pushing harder. Nothing's happening. Like trying to wiggle it and push it. Nothing's happening. So I got this, and then on the very thirty-first day, so the first day after the warranty was over, my controller just doesn't work anymore. So if I'm not saying these are horrible controllers like you saw if you guys saw my unboxing video it took me a little bit to get used to like I tried to play with it it was hard to get used to but I eventually got used to it and I actually enjoy this controller the only concern I had was the buttons are fucking loud when you when you play if you got children these things are loud but other than that it's a good fucking controller but my experience, I don't know if I just have awful experience with things. Like, I just have the worst possible fucking luck known to mankind with any equipment at all. I was not rough with my shit. I play it normal just like I did any other controller. My default controller lasted longer than that shit. And it's falling falling apart. But the PlayStation is just all around a flimsy fucking controller. My scuff, even though it broke a few times, it still made it 10 months before it broke. 
I'm not saying one controller company is better than the others because I have friends that say the Battle Beaver is a really good controller and they've had it for so long and they've had no problems. I've had friends that say they've had scuff for so long and they've had no problems. I don't know. I just think I have the worst possible fucking luck. I mean, my followers donated me a shitload of money to buy this controller for it to break one day after my warranty ends. So, I mean, for anybody that's going to get this controller, get a Battle Beaver controller, get the 90-day warranty just to be safe. That's pro- I think it's 90 days or 120 days or some shit like that. And that's the longest warranty you can get. So, I mean, I'm I'm really irritated. Like, I spent... I, I live stream six days a week. My street, I've been building a community and shit. And those people started helping me to get a new controller because my scuff broke. Which I thank them for doing that. We went all out. We spent $170 on this controller. $170 down the fucking toilet. Because this shit broke a day after my warranty ended. So, with that being said, I'm more than likely going to go back to Scuff. They came out there, Impact. I think I'm going to go back to them. I just, I can't fucking, I, I'm pissed off with this company. Because that is just fucking awful. I didn't do anything at all. I put my fucking controller down. I fucking got on the next day and my R2 don't work. Why? So that's pretty much going to wrap up this video. I wanted to put an update video of kind of what's going on. I like the controller. I just don't like the lifespan of the controller. It didn't last me worth a fuck. I mean, I didn't even make it through the rest of this Call of Duty. I ordered, like I said, I ordered this shit in January. We're in fucking the middle of May. We're like two and a half weeks through. And my controller is already broken. So, yeah. Just uh, don't take my experience as how it's going to work for all controllers. I just, I don't know. Like I said, I know people that have better experiences than I have. And... I'm just all around pissed off, disappointed. I don't know how to feel, but thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you for watching. I do appreciate it. This is just, uh, this is, like I said, just an update video on what has gone down with the controller. I was going to make one a couple weeks ago. Be like, I'm used to this shit. I'm killing it with this shit, but I didn't because I'm lazy and uh, I live stream six days a week, so I just don't ever fuck with YouTube. So, this is the update. Shit don't work no more. So, thank you guys for the view. If you stop by, if you like it, you dislike it, I don't give a shit. Same old bullshit every day. Alright guys, take it easy. Have a good week. Have a good weekend. Have a good summer. Have a good every fucking day of your life. Peace out, dudes.